Okay, this is going to be a short demonstration on how to do a backup using the GQ4X of an existing program chip. We're going to be backing up a 27C64, which is an S Plus real chip. First thing you want to do is come over, click in the upper left on Device. The pop-up menu, you're going to want to select what your chip is, which is a 27C64, and come down and click Select. Program's going to show you 27C64 has been selected, proper spacing in the ZIF socket, and that there's no adapter required. Next thing you want to do is load the chip into the device. Here we have a 27C64 chip. We've got an SS6499. Place it in the adapter, push the label down, come over and click Read. You'll see that it read the chip. If you go up top here and click Code, it will actually show you all the lines of code that it read. And if you take the bar and slide it all the way down on SS chips, one of the last things you'll read down the bottom is the chip number right here. It'll say S plus 6499. That way you know you've got the proper information off the chip and your chip is in fact the correct number. Now you want to save this. All you do is go up to File, click on Save As, type in the name you want to save it as, which I suggest SS6499. It's automatically going to be saved as a bin file, and click Save. That's all it takes to back it up. You've just successfully backed up your first bin of an SS chip. Now, if you want to burn it, remove the chip from the socket, put it in a safe place, you don't need it again. That's how we do a backup. Next one I'll teach you how to burn one.